Hello everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. I actually wanted to get you guys a video last night from BOG, but unfortunately uh, we had some issues with, with my team and only a few people were able to join at the start. And so it wasn't a particularly fun battlefield to watch. Uh, so I, I ended up scrapping the video. Uh, but I do want to get you guys some more battlefield content because uh, that's actually what I like to watch um, when I'm watching YouTube. Uh, but today I wanted to give you guys a video on the new events and uh, kind of what I thought about them. Um, but yeah, uh, as I'm sure most of you guys know, uh, a couple days ago on the 16th, there was an extra 10% uh, back on Aptoid. So that gave you like a total of uh, 25 to 35% worth of savings or return in AppCoin credits. Uh, Hopefully some of you guys were able to take advantage of that, but if not, I do I do plan on on giving you guys a little bit more advance notice next time. Uh, so so keep tuned on that. Uh, but yeah, let's get into the video. So uh, there's a couple different things that 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 popped up recently, new kind of events packages, mostly again things that you can buy. So one of them is this revolution sale package. Uh, this is very similar to some of the other packages where they gave you basically a very discounted price, but to get a specific general. Um, and the other ones were kind of worth it, right? Like you had, before you had, um, let me take a look. You had, um, let's see. Yeah, you had Basil in there. Basil the second, so he was a general hall two general, so he was super worth it. Uh, there might have been one other general hall two person that was uh, that was in there, but this is this is Prince Rhaegar. Like he's in the tavern. Like there's no there's no need for them to offer this as a package, unless you're like a very very early server and you don't have the gems or gold or tavern level to refresh to get Prince Rhaegar, there's there's no reason to buy this. So I I would definitely skip this package. Not worth it. Don't reward Evany for uh for coming up with new ways to to get you to spend your money. That's that's not that's not a good good use of your time. They returned with the the wheel of Past secret. Uh, so this gives you either the dragon coins, uh, the officer general chest. This this chest is actually okay, um, and it basically gives you any of the premium uh, duty general officers. Um, but I think you have to spend quite a bit to get there. So I and then this is a, a blazon set. Um, that's also good, but the amount that you would have to spend to get there, uh, you might even have multiple blazons that, that you could get to that level already. So I would also say this is not a good event to spend on. Uh, but really, the really, really bad event that you should definitely avoid spending on is this Dragon Treasures. Do not spend on this. Uh... So let's 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 look through it a little bit. Uh, it's been open a, a day or so, so I'm sure some of you guys have seen this. But basically, it's another wheel. They seem to think that we really like wheels, uh, probably pa playing off of people's you know gambling addiction and and stuff like that. Like oh, like you know I just missed that that you know that supremacy gear. Or I just missed you know whatever. Like I'm gonna play like a million more times and spend a lot more money. But don't reward that. You know, again, don't reward things that Evany is doing to just have like bad value for your money, just to give you more ways to spend. So basically, this is this is a another wheel, like I said. And let's look at the the probabilities here. So we'll look into what the the dragon treasures are. Um, but let's look at the actual chances. So super easy to get <laughs> super two two super resource chests. So that's you know eight eight million resources total. What a bad deal. Uh, golden dragon treasure, such a low percent. Red dragon treasure, such a low percent. Research stones times twenty. 
who needs research stones still? Like, come on. That's they they need to stop giving research stones as rewards. It's basically just a, a, a wasted reward, in my opinion. Uh the purple dragon treasure, one percent, so you spin it a hundred times, you get you get one of these. Uh and then yeah, another one percent here. Uh meteoric stone, thirty percent. So that's actually not too bad you get one meteoric st stone for you know basically every a little bit less than every three times that you spin it um so yeah not not great but also not not the worst um yeah just not not super good rewards there but let's let's actually look into what these dragons are doing so a lot of you are probably got excited when you saw this like i did like oh Hey, is this a way to get dragon fragments where you can unlock a specific dragon? Uh, like, I don't have Amatasu. Like, I would love to get Amatasu. You know, I'm I'm hoping that I can I can go to All Stars and and get get you know Amatasu or or, or the Kokian dragon. Uh, but yeah, I mean I have the other ones. But let's let's actually click into them, see what what these are. Okay, so they don't actually give you dragon fragments. As you know, you guys have probably guessed, they're just this dragon gemstone. Uh, and dragon gemstones are used in this dragon shop. So the white dragon, you get two dragon gemstones. The Fafnir, you get five. Uh, and there's two of those and two of the white dragons. And then the gold dragon, uh, or Thebes, is ten dragon gemstones. And... Fafnir, uh, not Fafnir, uh, Celtic is 60 dragon gemstones. So not super great. And again, like look at the other things that are on the wheel. Just not very good except for the meteoric stones. And even the meteoric stones, you're getting one. You're getting one of these for at, at most you're getting one in a spin where you need, you need like a hundred of these to amplify a single piece of of civ gear so again not not worth it there but let's look at the the dragon shop what you're actually using these dragon uh stones for you can unlock some of these really cool things like a japan epic subordinate city uh this is just a fragment so you can get 10 fragments of those which equates to a full uh a full sub city but that's super expensive, right? Like even even if, if with your best luck, where you're getting 60, 60 dragon stones a a you know a turn, this is still many many times that you're having to spin the wheel. Uh, then again, Russia, Japan, Russia, and then just a random one, uh, and then a random. Uh, excellent uh, subordinate city here you can get more meteoric stones so uh, for 10 of the for you get five meteoric stones for 10 so this isn't the worst deal but it still is is not is not very good I mean quite frankly instead of instead of buying uh, instead of buying these these packages here which is how you get these treasure compasses that's $99. So $99, even if you double down, that's 60 of these, which means that you can spin it 60 times. Uh, and I mean, again, the, the, the drop rates are super, super low. So even if you get, uh, I don't know, let's say that you get about, you know, 100 or something like that. Like that's still only going to be fifty here, yeah. That and and that's probably that's honestly probably generous. Uh -huh. Here, if you if you just go and and look at the hundred dollar pack here, you're already getting twenty of these, forty of them if you double it down, plus all of these other things here and the the better general token. Like it it. I just don't think that this is a this is a good thing to spend on. Uh, I would just get the normal event packages if you're if you're looking to spend. Uh, but yeah, let's let's look a little bit more into what's in the else in the dragon shop. I was kind of excited about this the supremacy fragments. Um, 
I'm very close to getting the last piece of my choreo set, uh, which I badly want before All-Stars, but I'm not going to spend on this to get it, uh, because you need 30 of the Dragonstone Fragments to get a single piece, um, which, you know, I, I think it's going to be very difficult, and you can only get 10 of them, so... Uh, this I think this is a much much worse deal than the Civ Civ wheel uh, or anything like that. Even even this like a three to one ratio here, it's so much easier to get the the conquest gear that I I would never spend these dragon coins on this. If you have 10, 10 of these coins, spend it here. Don't don't spend it on on here unless you're like one away from from a, a piece that you really need. And then the rest of it, really just kind of boring, regular stuff that you can get elsewhere. Definitely not worth spending these dragon fragments on. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> in general, bad event. Don't reward Ebony for giving you bad events. So I would not do, not get any of these. I will say you can also click into here. You can get get these rewards as well. But it's it's just. I mean, you're not getting any any dragon fragments here. You're, it's 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 like a worse Civ treasure wheel. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think of that wheel. Uh, I personally, again, think that it's it's a really bad event. Um, but but maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. Uh, hopefully hopefully they they give us something a little bit better, and hopefully the the Civ the Civ wheel is back between these events so that. Um, so that I can get my last piece of you know supremacy gear that I need, and other people can uh, can get the the fragments that they need as well. Um, I I am going to do another video on the uh, the amplifying, uh, specifically around which pieces that I think make the most sense to amplify. I uh, definitely do not just amplify any piece that you have. There there are certain pieces that give a lot more for your value when you're amplifying it. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned for for that video. Uh, and yeah, good luck on, on All-Stars qualifying and I'll see you in the next video.